Press conference by Foreign Minister Motegi will begin. The floor is yours, Minister Motegi. There's nothing to mention from my side, so please go ahead. Those of you who have questions, please identify yourself uh, and your affiliation and walk to the microphone. Watanabe-san. Thank you. I'm Watanabe, NHK. Japan-Russia relations is the question I would like to ask. Minister Motegi uh, has been in charge of negotiations and uh, including the Munich uh, ministerial in uh, I know that uh, there has been constructive uh, negotiations and uh, always uh, 2 plus 2 and minis uh, foreign ministerial issues are sure or has been one of the issues that uh, Russians have raised as an obstacle for the Japan-Russia negotiations peace treaty. Uh, Minister Kono uh, said uh, during the LDP uh, sub subject meeting, meeting that uh, Egypt's Ashore will be uh, given up and thus giving up of uh, Egypt's Ashore uh, what uh, implications could this have on the negotiations of peace treaty between Japan and Russia? The decision was made most recently, and your question is whether there would be any impact to our relationship with Russia, but not just limited to our relationship with Russia, but for any other relationship, I refrain from making any comments based upon presumption on the impact. Our policy against Russia is to resolve the territorial issue and conclude a peace treaty, and that position is unchanged. So we will tenaciously work towards that end. Last year, with uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov, we candidly discussed various issues. How can our positions be made close? I've had many discussions on many aspects. In the process towards concluding a peace treaty, one cannot assume that security will not be put on the table. Overcoming the security challenge is also another issue that we ought to overcome. And based upon such a policy, we would like to work hard. Then, Minister, I have a follow-up question. The Minister announced that Isis Ashore would be given up, and that message was delivered to our neighboring countries. We've entered the stage of giving up ISIS ashore, but Minister Motegi, how are you going to go about in the negotiations with Russia to explain Japan's position in the uh, negotiations with Russia with regards to the Japan's security situation? How you intend to work this out with the neighboring countries? Well, I take your questions question in two parts. First of all, uh, the national security environment surrounding Japan, as you know, is growing in increasingly severe, and uh, protecting and defending the lives and the property of the Japanese people is uh, one of the most important uh, responsibility of the government, and the need is uh, more increasing. And uh, so far, through different uh, cooperation with the United States, our ally, uh, we have uh, built over the years uh, a seamless uh, posture. Uh, this year marks the 60th anniversary of the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty, and the Japan-U.S. Uh, alliance is uh, stronger than ever. And I do not believe uh, that this decision uh, will have any implications on the cooperation that we have with the United States. Uh, as far as Japan is concerned, we will continue our cooperation, close cooperation with the United States, uh, so that we can enhance uh, both the deterrence and response capabilities of our alliance with the United States. Meanwhile, when, we, when it comes to our negotiations with Russia, it relates to uh, the content of our negotiations. So what I say here uh, could have implications uh, on our negotiations, could affect our negotiations. So what uh, will be our, t how will I will speak, and uh, what will be the policy approach towards negotiations? I would like to refrain from commenting on those. Next question, please. Harakawa Sanke Shinbun, thank you. Uh, it's uh, Japan has uh, pulled out of IWC and uh, resumption. Uh, it's been in almost a year since the resumption of the commercial whaling. And I would like to just uh, question on this occasion. Uh, towards the end of uh, the year before the last, uh, when Japan announced uh, the pulling, its intention, intent to pull out of the IWC, uh, international community, uh, foreign countries. Uh, 
uh, were quite uh, negative in responding to this enhancement of Japan. In the first uh, half of this uh, year, you have had many uh, talks uh, with uh, foreign ministers of different countries over the phone. With, when it comes to Japanese uh, commercial whaling, uh, uh, have you faced any uh, exhibition of negative opinion against uh, a commercial whaling by Japan, or have you heard any push uh, uh, to Japan uh, to make a comeback to the IWC? With the global outbreak of COVID-19 and since the pandemic, I've had telephone talks, uh, more than 50 telephone talks with foreign ministers of various countries, but there have not been any cases of counterparts indicating concern over Japan's waiting policy or return to the IWC. Are there any other questions? Yes, Abe-san, please. Abe of Yomiri Newspapers. I have a question on Japan-Russia relationship. As you have pointed out already, Minister in Vladislav in September, the Eastern Economic Forum had been scheduled, but it's been canceled. So face-to-face -face foreign ministers meeting may be difficult to organize. So uh, what's the policy in proceeding with the Japan-Russia negotiations? Well, the point you have uh, just raised, uh, Eastern Economic Forum is also a case at point. It's not that uh, due to uh, political reasons, uh, either in Japan or Ro Russia, the meetings uh, have, have been postponed. And when it comes to the foreign ministerial meeting between myself and uh, Minister Ragrov, uh, we want to conduct uh, such a meeting as quickly as possible. And, they, uh, and I want him to come back. Uh, I want uh, him to be come to visit uh, Japan. Uh, but we have to closely monitor uh, how uh, the coronavirus spread will be brought under control. And uh, this hinges on the situation of the spread of uh, infections. On the 28th of uh, May, based on the uh, leader's uh, telephone talk on the 7th, we, uh, I had a telephone talk with uh, Minister Sergei Lavrov. Off. And uh, we came to an agreement that a working level uh, consultation should uh, be held uh, early in order to push ahead uh, with our uh, consultation on peace treaty, negotiations on peace treaty and joint economic tra activities on the four islands and uh, exchange a program in the year of uh, regional exchange. And uh, immediately after that, uh, Telephone Turk on the April and a correction on the 4th and the 5th, uh, we had uh, Deputy Ministerial and uh, Director General working uh, group meetings uh, were held. And uh, it is very important to have a meeting on uh, the exchange, our exchange uh, program. And uh, we would like to closely monitor the situation. And uh, we are in agreement to hold this uh, uh, discussion as uh, soon as possible. We should uh, closely monitor the spread of the infections uh, while making sure that uh, we make a headway in uh, negotiations and to proceed with our negotiations on peace uh, treaty. And and that I don't think there is any disagreement between Japan and Russia. Another point in Russia, on the 1st of July, uh, there will be a nationwide voting on uh, the amended uh, Russian constitution. And this amended constitution includes a provision on uh, prohibition to uh, prohibition on cession of its uh, territory. What you is your take? We are watching closely the trend with regards to the amendment of constitution. The ballot was slated to take place on April the 22nd. That has been delayed and postponed due to COVID-19 until 1st of July. How will that impact the Japan-Russia peace treaty negotiations? The negotiations will be unfolding in the future. I refrain from making any comments based upon presumption, but we are uh, monitoring the situation very closely, and that's uh, been communicated to the Russian side clearly. Any other questions? Watanabe-san, please. Watanabe of NHK, sorry for the repeated question. I have a follow-up question to the, related to the previous question. According to past historical record, reports, uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov repeatedly mentioned Aegis Ashore, and no matter how thoroughly Japan explained, he put it on the table. Uh, he raised it with your predecessor as well. So is this one outstanding issue disappearing? 
and the Russian side has been putting this on the table every time. So is this going to be a positive factor to Japan's negotiations with Russia? So far, I have uh, been engaged in diplomatic negotiations, uh, some of which have been very challenging in retrospect. Uh, but uh, for each and one, uh, in each and every one of the factors, I'm not neither optimistic or pessimis pessimistic. Uh, Mr. Arakawa. Harakawa, Sanke. WTO, DG, election. DG Azebedo, I cannot hear you. I'm, I would like to ask a question about the uh, DG, WTO DG uh, election. Azebedo will be stepping down at the end of uh, August, and uh, including your, our neighboring country, uh, South Korea. Some countries have, uh, now have uh, candidates for his uh, successor. So when it comes to the government of Japan's uh, response, uh, uh, does uh, the government of Japan has a plan to uh, have its own uh, candidate uh, to assume the direct, uh, director generalship of the WTO? What will be the Japanese government response? We are studying how we ought to respond at the moment. The incoming director general will be required to have various capabilities. Recently, there have been several developments with regards to WTO, and I think someone who has the capability of coordinating the interests of major countries is of great importance. And at the same time, someone who is positive to the maintenance and reinforcement of multilateral trading system, someone who can ensure the transparency and accountability of the organization are very important traits that someone who will be appointed in such a position should have. So we will look at the situation of other countries and in partnership with major countries, we will study what response we ought to be taking. Are there any other questions? If not, this is the end of today's press conference. Once again, thank you for coming. Thank you.